All right. So, I've been getting a lot of storm questions, whether if it's on forums, Reddit, YouTube videos, maybe if it's from another person's YouTube videos while I'm in a stream, and they tell them that I am a storm player. So, um, I feel like I thought some of these were kind of already spoken and just known as a storm player, but I guess some of it isn't. Um, so today what I'm going to tell you guys is I'm going to tell you some tips and, and some mistakes that you that you want to avoid when you're building up storm and um, also some good rotations where you can get a lot of damage up out of her. Um, so let me go ahead and start off with um, there is one big thing that a lot of new storm players feel or a lot of players who are switching over to storm. Um, from like when um, they're doing a transmutation from another character to Storm, um, she has a lot of enticing skills. Um, again, her skills are not bad. Some are just worse than others. Some are useless. Some are useless, and a lot of them are useful. They all serve a purpose. Um, my suggest to you guys is. One of the big things that I feel like when I built my storm, you have to match your play style, right? Um, what do I mean by that is you have to know what you're going for. Um, this right here especially pertains to newer storms, like storms that are coming out uh, probably like level 50-ish around there, around that level 70, around that level. You have to determine what skills best suits you. Um, if you feel like you're going to be more of a single target player, then, you know, I would wholeheartedly go with this skill here. Um, maybe dropping this skill. Yes, you're going to definitely need this skill. You're going to definitely need this skill. Um, going to definitely need that skill. And, and this skill, it, it usually comes with her bread and butter. So that's something that you definitely, you most definitely want to uh, keep on you. Um... Now, if you're one of those storm players that you know you're not comfortable with with playing storm, um, let's say you're more of one of those people that like to auto um, than actual playing because storm is definitely going to be one of those characters, especially as your main. She's going to be one of those characters where autoing special bosses fights are not going to be the best of time. So um, I would recommend you to go ahead and maybe you want to throw in this snow shield. Um, give you some more survivability because it gives her uh, invincibility for a couple seconds. Um, another thing that I don't hear people talk about a lot, unless it's PvP, is this skill. This skill is very, very helpful when you're doing things like PvE as well because of the dodge that it gives you. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, I think this is more of an auto set, auto play set. Usually you want to put this on when you're just going to auto walk away, especially when you get into car. So those are things that's going to help you out. And this is what I kind of differentiate myself at when I kind of figured out which way I wanted to go. When I first started playing this game, I knew that I was going to gonna I was gonna want to be a, a AOE kind of storm. So before I had Hydra set, because um, like I stated before, this skill with Loki sucks bad without um, having a Hydra set or at least a Xandar set or Steampunk set, if that. Um... You want to go ahead and take this skill off. Um, another thing is you want to take this skill off. And these two skills right here will definitely, definitely help you out, clear out AOE rooms. Um, this is what I use, especially when I wanted to gain XP a lot faster. Like when I did DZ, DZ grind for XP. Um, I do. I use this skill right here. It cleans our room. And, it, and it's also very good as in terms of it. it continues on. So you can drop this skill out, and as you can see, she 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 let her hands down. It still keeps doing. Or you can just throw it out like right here, dodge it, and then you can go ahead and mix it with this tack as well. So it stacks it stacks with each other. It's really good. Um, another thing is you can use this for AOE. Um, it's not bad. I use it. A lot of people do use it during her invasions as well. That's going to be your bread and butter as well. And also another thing, when you're doing a when you're being a single target attacker, another thing that I've seen storm players use, and especially myself, is you use this skill right here. 
Um, cause look, it doesn't. It it hardly takes any stamina. It hardly has any cooldown. Like the cooldown is not trash at all. So you know you have a good some good some good skill cooldown. Mix this into your rotation. The guard break is phenomenal. It it, it's, it definitely stun locks people in PvP. I love it. It tracks. And I also do love it against PvE as well when I'm fighting mini bosses or big bosses. That way when I guard break them, it's so much easier to apply my effects to them. So again, you just have to differentiate between what you want to be. Because um, Storm definitely has three kind of play styles. And you can get very caught up in the skills of what to use. You're just not sure what mixes together. Um... Um, one big thing I do recommend you is if you're going to be a Storm player, even though I did highlight that she has like different things that she can work with um, skill wise. Ultimately, there's really, really like just one set that it's, it's her lightning set that is really the most viable in game modes because they haven't really... Um, delve into other things so there's not really no need to be like a support character or anything like that so i would probably like again i recommend hydra set she can't grant crit it'd definitely be awesome it busts her lightning skill class so i say go for it if you can um that's not so not another one she has a i think a xandar outfit as well Yes, this one right here this is phenomenal for her. Um, only for the simple fact that it gives her defense a pierce. And we all know the defense a pierce meta is in. So, you know, if you don't care that much about crit right then I'll for sure go with this one for the defense of pierce, in all honesty. Um, and again, uh, where is her 80s outfit? Here we go. Um, this is probably her best, her best free to play. Um, only because of that the defense of pierce that's on it. And also because of that buffs her um, single target damage. So... Um, take it as you will. Um, if you want to be a windstorm, then go ahead. There's nothing bad about that. Um, windstorms are, wind attacks are more just, you know, an AOE kind of spammy kind of build. Um, you want to go with an ice build? Ice builds are actually not too bad. It does not do that far off damage. I think I like ice, but I want to try to build one. But hey, if you can and you're spending money, I highly, highly recommend, if you're going to go with an Ice Build, maybe try to get an Eyes of Osiris. That looks like a very, very good thing you could build upon. So, you just never know. Um, I have the boots on Spider-Man right now. So, I might transfer those over to see what we can do with that. Um, now, another thing that a lot of Storm players do when they built their storm character, um, they they mainly focus on having a lot of reds on their cores because they can buff attack. Um, storm is one of those characters that have high base attack, kind of like Black Widow. Um, so when you're building your storm, the best thing you probably want to go for are green cores. You want to try to be, you want to try to have as many green cores as you want to, whether it's defense appears or it's critical damage. Um, she doesn't have anything to really help with those. As you guys seen, her outfits can come with crit. Uh, I mean, I like, and her outfits can come with defense appears. But, like, as far as crit damage go, like, she doesn't really have any of that on her specialty cards. So, I always tell Storm players, look, when you first get into this game and you get badges, reds is cool. Um, they can buff her crit rate and her attack. But I always want you guys to remember this. This is um, something I did make a mistake with. I did focus on trying to get red cores when there were, like, very, very good badges that I had to have, like, double green cores. And that's really what she needed. Um, you might want to, like, try to stay away from bad cores like this. And the only reason I have this right here is for the simple fact of the cooldown decrease. That's the only reason why I have them on there. Um, but like I said, she is very, very hard to, you know, cap her stats with. So, um, you, you have to... You have to do some... Storm is one of those characters where out the gate, she feels busted. But then you get middle into the game and she kind of... It's like kind of... She feels kind of trash. But then once you have her at her max build, she like feels busted all over again. So Storm is one of those characters where it's like... It's either you go all in or you don't go at all. 
Um, I think that's another thing that Storm players do have to realize. When you're first playing Storm, she feels amazing. I understand. I know that. But a lot of Storm players kind of get to the middle and they realize that Storm isn't that great because she doesn't have other ways to cap like her crit damage and her crit rating and also her defense appears like other characters do. Um, and I will tell you guys, this also reflects into my cards, which I am also regretting at the moment as well. When you are playing Storm, if you can, if there's any possible way that you can, you might want to try to avoid cards that have attack stats. Um, not because they're bad, but, you know, for Storm, because she already has a lot of base attack, she doesn't really need it. Most of her cards you want to do, you want to try to focus on cards that have things like, you know, crit rate, um, maybe some cooldown decrease. Um, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you want to focus on cards that have defense appears, crit damage, crit rate. You, you want to try to f get as close as you can to those because, again, Storm has a high base attack. So her needing attack percentage is not, not really that needed. Um... Like, my plans right now is probably I'm going to keep these three cards. Um, my my Red Skull card, this one. I'm going to keep this one right here as well. And I'm planning on keeping this one as well because the defense appears. I don't know if I really want to reroll this card. I'm pretty scared to do that. But these three cards here, I might have to, you know, get rid of them. And this one is a really good card, so it pains me that I might have to get rid of them. Um, it's probably looking like I might have to move this over to my Spider-Man, in all honesty. So, we'll see. So, when you're a Storm player, just try to focus on crit damage. You know, get your crit ray up and get your defense up here. So, don't worry too much about attack because, again, she has high base attack anyway. Storm players, they can easily hit 20k attack level, no problem. 23k attack but like it's not it's no problem for her you're gonna get there naturally now another thing that i think storm players should know um uh, with this introduction of companions um i know for a fact especially in pvp there's a good synergistic probably not problem but um beneficial thing that is going on for storm because when you play storm a lot of people know Storm players want to hit them with one skill. And once that one skill, once that one skill hits, and I mean when it hits, it hurts a lot. And it can, it actually has a big potential to just one shot overkill people. Um, so a lot of storms now are actually running him. Um, they throw out a um, their lightning bolt attack that you know chases them down, make them spin a few dodge bars here and there. But as soon as they, you know, they're out of their dodge bars, they go ahead and drop this guy to instantly guard break him. And then use that one skill. And pff, GG's after that. So that's kind of how um, PvP Storm players have supplemented her weaknesses with this guy. So I think this guy covered a lot of ground for her. And I think that is somewhat of a good thing. Unless if it happens to you, then it just feels terrible. So now another thing is... When you play Storm, because of the way her cards are set up, you when you you have to understand which way you want to play. Do you want to be PvP or do you want to be PvE? Because if you're playing Spider-Man, you can get total damage, and total damage is going to be good for both PvE and PvP. Same thing with Captain Marvel. Black Widow and Iron Man, they both get defense appears, and we know how valuable defense appears is in PvP, and it's also very valuable in PvE as well. So, here with Storm, hers is either it's PvE or it's PvP. There is no shock. Shock is shock is fantastic for PvE. I, I'm pull up something that's has shock. This has, this has shock. Shock damage is fantastic for PvE. It's decent for PvP, but if you don't have the defense appears to supplement that, uh, shock is not really going to be that useful. Um, and like I tried to tell you guys before, you can't really get defense appears on her cars. So if you want, you're going to have to roll like PvP damage increase. 
if you want to do good in PvP. So you got to really difference which one. Like, you cannot have... Storm, you cannot have a her. You're going to have to go all the way. Now, when I say all the way, I don't mean all the way. It's in terms of Captain Marvel or Spider-Man where you have to max, max. So you have to, like, spend tons of tons of money to try to get that max or you just get really, really lucky. No, I mean, like... You're going to have to focus on other stats that maybe you wouldn't have to on other skills. I mean, with other characters. Now, you not now you don't, you don't have to max out crit damage or max out crit rate or max out defense appears. But if you can get them as close as possible as you can, her shock damage is going to... It's, it's, it has a synergistic with them. The higher... Like, you can have the defense appears cap, right? Um, Black Widow... Iron Man, you can have defensive pierce cap, but it, it, it only it can only hit its cap. Once you get past that cap, now you're now you're over cap, and now you're just wasting um, stats that could be used somewhere else. But with Storm, if, if you cap her defense at pierce, that's gonna do nothing but boost the shock damage that she has. Her shock damage can go up as much as it want to, so that's why when you see you 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 can see um, two different sides of storm. You have those storm players who looks kind of weak. They're not doing much. But then you have the other side of the storm players where you know maybe once they hit that fifty percent defense of Pierce, then you just start seeing them take off. Then that's when you start seeing the people like the snaps, or you start seeing me in dark zone that just destroys all the bosses. Even when there's people in there who spend more money than me and has more, way more power than me. Um, that's why even on my server, there are storms who are literally way more power level than me, but I can still out DPS them. Granted, some of them have worked on her PVP, her, her PVP cards, but that goes into what I'm saying. You have to pick. You cannot be PV. You cannot be trying to do PVE, trying to score big time in PVE with PVP cards. That's just not how that's going to work. So you got to, and I mean, got to be diligent with how you build storm um also when you're when you're packing her special when you're packing her specialties you have to understand that there's two ways you can go you can go the shock route or you can go the ice route that's in terms of damage um i would not recommend going win route at all if you ask me keep that in the back of your mind don't even think about it just Chalk it up. Um, but as you can see, see, like, her, her, her <laughs> yeah, bro, her win abilities are not that good. They're more for defensive purposes, but, you, but what I'm trying to get at is damage, PvE, PvP. I mean, I'm sorry, damage, shock, ice. You want to be, yeah, you totally... Defensive monster, I guess, and go wind. I wouldn't recommend it. But most of her damage utilizes ice and and shock. So with that being said, is if you're playing storm and you you know what they always say, you don't pick the build. The build picks you. So if the build picks you and it's telling you to lean towards ice, don't fear because ice has good specialties. Okay. Right, I even use this right now, and I have all shock. This is fantastic for ice. Um, this too is also fantastic for ice. Oh, wait, not that one. I mean, that one's okay for everyone. Yeah, this right here is fantastic for ice. I've seen it work, I've seen it happen, I see people make it work. So, fantastic for another thing. This is also fantastic. Like, I'm, I'm telling you guys, like, being a chill build is not that bad. I am going to be testing a chill build here soon lately when, if I can ever, you know, find some chill regional gear and all that. I want to test it out for you guys and show you that. Chill build can still definitely get it done. Do not sleep on it. Um, honestly think, um, and for her potential, um, one thing I did mess up on, right? Uh, I'm just telling you guys not to make these mistakes that I'm messing up on. So you don't have to, you know. When I first started out this, I had went ahead and I maxed out all of these. If I were you, just max out attack and leave a little bit off of, you know, the defense and the HP. Her defense and HP is not that high, so it's not really going to affect you that much. Um, another thing, when you get to these, try to 
try to as much as possible I mean I don't know if you really want to yeah her style is a fact accuracy is not really that good I mean you can do it but if I were you guys I would try to focus on maybe the guard damage and then on here uh, attack and maybe the guard damage and for this this one right here cool down get it all the way to cool down if you can Thank me later. Stake me later. That's all I'm gonna say. Stake me later. Alrighty. So, as a storm player, like I said, man, these are just some mistakes that I made that you shouldn't have to make. Um, and uh, uh, one, one more big thing is storm really relies on these her her head and her body to roll good stats. So if they don't roll good stats, you're kind of gonna be a sitting duck. Probably gonna be looking nasty for you. Uh, if you can, try to maybe get some cooldown, like at least three things of cooldown. Um, get that up there. Trust me, that's gonna help out a lot if you can. So, um, as a storm player, you guys, you guys have seen how I rock. You guys have seen my cards. You have seen my builds. Um, I even have thrown on streams. I've showed my DZ scores. I've showed my DZ damages. Um, Storm can, is definitely a very good PvE character. I would highly recommend PvE if you can. Um, she can definitely work in PvP. Let me see if there are any Storms up here in PvP. Yeah, Vic. Uh, very good uh, PvP Storm right here. He definitely does his thing in PvP. Can't knock him for that one. And as you guys can see, as his badges, you see... He tries to stack as many greens as possible. Now he has some reds, but yeah, you see, he tries to stack them with critical rate. Like reds are fine if you want to build your critical rate up. Um, but like I try to tell you guys, at the end of the day, when you're playing Storm, you want to focus on two things. Not even two things, three things: critical rate, crit damage, defense appears. You can do attack. Don't focus on attack. Those are some things that I witnessed, and those are some things that I'm definitely regretting. So, if this is able to help any storm player out there, just let me know. If I'm missing something, I will go ahead and mention it down below in the comment section. I see you guys are liking the video. Just subscribe. You're already watching it. But I'm um, not the though, man. Peace out. Thanks for watching.